Hello everybody, before the video begins, I just wanted to give you my uh, continuing or ongoing impressions of what it's like grading with an OLED te television set. Um, the first uh, feeling that I have is one of real regret that I didn't start using the OLED television, uh, my LG C7, as a grading monitor a couple of years ago when I first became interested in HDR video. Um, that it's turning out to be a wonderful experience even for grading Rec. 709 footage that the colors appeal to me more than the ones that I'm seeing on my 27 inch iMac that you can see often details that might escape you when you're watching on a smaller screen uh, are very apparent when you see them on a larger screen and I'm also seeing that the colors that I'm grading to using the uh, Technicolor Expert uh, picture mode on the LG are very close to what you might see, say, on a Samsung uh, smartphone or on your laptop or something like that. So I think the colors are pretty good, although they might not be good enough for a Hollywood movie because uh, I can't really do any real calibration on the TV. I don't have any of the equipment or anything. Um, I do think that when LG releases their 48-inch uh, CX um, in the spring that it's going to be a huge hit. It's a, it's a gaming OLED TV, but I think it's going to find a place in a lot of people's homes, uh, especially ones with, uh, that don't have a large uh, room. Uh, 48 inches might be a much better size, and I think it might also end up being uh, used as a PC used along with the PC uh, for a lot of people. And for filmmakers, it has a filmmaker mode, uh, which is for playing back um, movies uh, with as little processing as possible. And it has a different white point uh, from the, um, from say my model, it has a D65 white point, which is the one that uh, colorists use when they're grading footage. and. I'm assuming that you can use the filmmaker mode when you're creating uh, your videos and end up with a more accurate color rendition. Anyway, that's enough. I, I will keep you updated about using an OLED and the, the upsides and downsides of it. Um, again, uh, the one downside uh, that I see so far is just the fact that it does, the image will dim if the image is static on the screen for a little while. And if you just hit the remote and uh, play a channel or something and then go back to the HDMI, that the brightness uh, will return to normal again. But so far, that's the only real downside that I see. Anyway, now for the video. Hello, everybody. This is John again. Uh, this is just a quick test of the lighting and also the grading. Um, it turns out that when I looked at the previous video I made uh, about my new setup, I uh, had another look at the footage and it looks really cyan to me. Um, the limitations really for me aren't necessarily with whether I'm looking at the footage on my iMac or on my OLED, but rather the fact that one day cyan skin tones look good to me, the next day red skin tones look good, the next day green skin tones. So that's really the problem. I, I'm all over the place when it comes with the skin tones. So anyway, uh, I also made a little refinement maybe. I'm trying to move the uh, key light just a hair closer to me. Uh, I was saying before that I thought the light was a little bit too harsh. Uh, maybe if I move the light a little bit closer, it'll be a, a little less harsh. I'm not really sure. It's just a matter of probably centimeters. And also uh, by moving the key light closer to me, I'm hoping that I can make the background uh, a little bit darker, but I'm not sure. Again, uh, I'll see when I look at the footage on the timeline in Final Cut Pro whether that actually works or not. But uh, I think that the colors of this video will be much more appealing. I think they're a bit warmer than the previous video I made. And uh, if I like it, I may save it as a preset. And if I continue to shoot with the setup, uh, then I can just go ahead and uh, use the same uh, grade that I used for this, that I use for this, end up using for this one. Anyway, that's a lot of talking for now. Uh, see you in the next video. Bye.